Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome to what is going to be a very basic tutorial uh, with regards to how to install Star Wars Movie Duels into your Jedi Knight Jedi Academy game files. So, the way I'm going to navigate to those files uh, uh, is going to be largely geared towards Steam users, but the same concept applies um, if you have installed the game using a different method essentially. Um, you just need to remember where you actually downloaded the game to and then access the game data folder. Um, so what I'm going to do here is basically for people who don't know how to find that. Uh, if you have Steam installed and obviously you're going to have to have a copy of Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy, you're going to just right click on your library. Um, you just go to properties, it should pop up with the information, go into the installed files area and you're just going to hit browse and that's going to hit it's going to bring up a window with the relevant information already in it. So basically, it's going to be in your usually, okay, C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Jedi Academy, and then you can pop into game data, and that's where you're going to be installing the files. Alternatively, you can also just go straight to the game, hit manage, and browse local files, which will pop up the same window. Now, of course, to get to download the files. I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, so I have included this link in the description of my videos, and I'm going to include it here as well, of course, but you're going to navigate to moddb.com slash mod slash movie dash duels, and that will take you to the main page. Now, this is assuming that we're operating with someone who doesn't have any ad blocks or anything like that. You're going to have to get through the wall of ads, right? So, um, you're essentially going to scroll right down, scroll right down, and hit this download button. There might be some fake download buttons available uh, above it. Um, with like, There are a lot of ads that basically put up like a fake download button and stuff. Just ignore those, scroll all the way down to whatever this one is. So, the big, bold download with however many downloads there have been. So, you just hit that, hit download and you're going to be jumping into the first option which is the full installation which at the time of recording is about seven gigabytes or so in size um, in the future more than likely the dev team of this mod is going to expand this a little bit and add to the mod itself so it might take a little bit more space in the future so of course we're going to be hitting download now you might need to be patient um it's supposed to automatically download for you after a few moments otherwise you just click on that link and it'll download. So I'm going to just jump ahead and show you what to do from there. After you've downloaded the file, we're just going to locate the file itself, which is usually in the downloads folder. And we're going to just bring this over to the game data folder that we already located previously. Now you'll have to bear in mind that my folder might have other files in it um, outside of what you may find in yours because I had previously meddled around with uh, mods. Um, before we're starting my recording. So regardless, this is the zip file that ended up being downloaded. I dragged it into my game data folder as previously mentioned, and I've shown a couple of ways um, where you can extract everything. So if you hit extract all, which is a default version, at least on Windows 11, it's going to open it, essentially going to put it in its own folder, um, which in this case will be this one. And everything in here, you can still run the exe file and it should operate as usual so you allow it um you hit accept everything like that um and it should automatically install everything into the md folder and all of this stuff gets unpacked from the exe file uh, alternatively if you do it uh the other way i did it uh you go seven zip or whichever <laughs> whichever extraction um application you want to use you can hit extract here it would put everything into this folder and i just ran md uh, setup.exe and that basically did the same thing so the installer will ask you if you want to send a shortcut to the desktop, you may as well hit yes. Otherwise, you're going to want to use the uh, Movie Duels executable file in the folder itself in order to launch the game. So it's uh, actually fairly straightforward. I hope you enjoyed.